Right, let's have a wee look at what goes on here, Sal. Good strong back position, great back angle. Excellent finish off the pool here. Stamp the feet down. If we just reverse that quickly, feet should be splitting out to the side, slamming the heels down. What do your feet do? They kick back, putting you a little bit more on your toes. This is shifting all the weight forward on your foot. So at the top of your pool, think feet split out to the side, stamp the heels down. The only other thing in this one is that the bar lands on you rather than you meeting the bar with your chest and your elbows pointed to the roof. So think about that again. When the bar lands on you, we want you to be meeting it with your chest, popping your elbows through fast. So you should be meeting it there, slam the elbows through, chest up on the bar. If you'd done that, I think you would have made that lift. Right, Sal, this is you again with the same weight. Let's see if we've managed to sort out that soft catch. So we're looking at the elbows pinging through, meeting the bar with your chest. Hard catch. Elbows up. And as you've heard me shout there, you got your chest through and elbows pointing up. Much better catch. Let's just have a look at it again. So as we come to the top of the pool, excellent finishing position, really good. Again, let's just focus on what's going on with the um, with your feet. So your feet are in this position here. We don't really want your feet to be, if we look at the start position, your heels are in line with the white line. We don't really want your heels to be popping much further than just just behind there. That allows you the space to move around the bar. As we see, you kick your heels up, which kind of puts you on your toes. And when you're on your toes, the weight's always going forward. Let's look at that again. So top of the pool comes. You're kicking your heels back, which puts you up on your toes. I'd much rather from this position that you think about splitting your feet out to the side, out to your front squat position, and driving the heels down. That will give you a nice solid base to catch the bar from. So split the feet out, slam the heels down. And that should stop us coming on our toes. But you made the lift. It was pretty good PB. Let's watch it once more. Hard catch. Elbows up. Good girl. Okay, Sal, let's have a look at your last lift of 78 kilos. The things we're going to look at are... The, um, your foot position so we, we want to look at what your feet are doing so that next session in our warm ups we can really focus on it and trying to correct the, the, the problems that are stopping you lift this weight so let's watch it through look at the feet and then we'll do a little bit of analysis ok let's have a look at it again so off the floor again much better back position from last week really good Keeping the shoulders just in front of the bar. Nice top position there. Right, let's see. Here are the heels. We don't want to see them coming much past this sort of position. Kick them back. You end up on your toes. So let's look at that again from the top of the, top of the pool. Feet are kicking back putting you up on your toes and from this position you can see where the weight's going it's all going forward elbows end up facing down the way bar rolls off the front so what I'd like to see next week so this is our heel position to start we think about splitting our feet out along that line the very most just shifting back slightly as we move around the bar. So once we get to the top of our pool, we're going to be thinking feet split out, slam the heels down, and that gives a solid base to catch the bar and get our elbows through. So that's what we'll think about in our warm-ups next week. At the top of the pool, feet split out, slam the heels down, and when the heels slam down, that's when we're going to catch the bar. 
overall pretty good day lifting, well done.